What's up everyone? I've got a short one for you today. I promise you that long one and it's going to come up soon, probably next. But let's get into this one straight away. And we're going to start off with a little intro, which I haven't done for a while. I mean, not a coming up, just like a short intro. It'll just be like 30 seconds to a minute. Two seconds. Two seconds. Better, better. Getting better. And we're filming this session with a good camera too, guys. And the good mic, of course. That last one was with my phone. Alright All right, guys, that's the end of the intro. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did at all, please go ahead and smash that like button. And drop some comments, guys, because it helps so much. And think about it, if no one drops any comments, it's like a silent audience. So I don't even know if anyone's watching it. It could just be a bot, you know, just like racking up the views. So drop some comments, guys. Alright, let's do this. Guys, I'm an idiot. I was going the wrong way the whole time. I always do that. I look one way and I think, oh, that's north, so that's got to be east. But I'm actually looking south. I keep doing that. I don't know why. But we're going back now. We're going to be there soon. And I'll just remind you, we're going to a park where we can sit down and charge our devices, you know.
past this biker here. Ah, oh, beautiful, isn't it? It's just freedom, guys. This is freedom. I love it. And guys, this is like... You know when I made that video about like EUCs being fun and how they never... So I'm just clipping this thing on the back. You know I said they never get boring? I mean, it seems to be true, guys. The way I felt when I got my wheel back right, it was like getting my wheel for the first time again. You know, like full on excitement. But the only difference is I already know how to ride it this time. So it's like going back to day one level of excitement with all the knowledge that you've gained. Because I went weeks without riding a wheel. And when I got this back, I was like a kid on Christmas. Better, way better. What's a kid on Christmas? And it's, oh man, it just, it's like it's back to day one on steroids. But like I said, this thing gets more fun. So it's like, it's like back to day 100, let's say. Let's say day 100 was the best. You know, because by then you become a proficient rider and it's like, it's more fun than day one, isn't it? That was what the video was about. You know, these are the only things that can do that where they don't lose their magic, they don't lose their novelty they get better and better and it's a lot to do with the skill that goes into riding them I think but it's not just that, it's the whole feeling, you know and when I got this back guys, oh I mean it just reinforced everything I said in that video, didn't it? Like, there's no doubt, like I would never pick any car over one of these things if I had to make that choice in life you know, that, if, if you guys didn't watch that basically what I was saying is if you had the choice you know, you had to pick one of these things or pick a Ferrari and that's the only choice you could I mean, that was your life decision, right? if you pick the Ferrari you're going to be driving that for the rest of your life and you're never going to be on one of these things for the rest of your life if you pick the EUC, you're going to have an EUC for life but you're never going to have a Ferrari for the rest of your life so yeah, I mean, it's just the choice is easy for me there is no choice it's, you know, what is a, any car is a cage after all and if we're talking about a sports car like that, it's a small cage so I mean, this thing represents freedom. That's what this thing is. Absolute freedom. I mean, look at this. We're like... It's amazing. Anyone that hasn't actually ridden one of these yet, by the time you learn how to ride it properly, you know, you're just... It's like walking. It becomes part of you, like... I feel so safe on this thing, it's just incredible. Like, I have to try it if I want to fall off it. I have to be doing something stupid. And I do it all the time. But I have to really be trying to fall off. Even, um, like I said many times, it's safer than a bike. Once you, learn, once you know how to ride it though, that's the important thing. Because I had people tell me, I had some people telling me that it's not safer than a bike. They said, don't lie bro, it's not safe on the bike. And I said, yeah, well, it depends. It depends on the EC, it depends on the bike, of course. But it depends on how much experience you've got on an EC. And a bike, I guess. You know, if you're really good at riding bikes, but you've never ridden an EC, of course, a bike's going to be safer, isn't it? But what I'm saying is I've ridden bikes for years and years, and now I've ridden this for long enough. And I'm telling you guys, this is safer. This thing is safer. And guys, there's a cop on a bike just there, speaking of bike. That's why I turned around just there. You can't really see him, but as soon as I saw him, I turned around and headed the other way. And now he turned around too, but he's so far that I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if he noticed me, but there's no way he's going to get here, that's for sure. So I'll stop for a bit, I'll just let them catch up a little bit so you can see this. 
See? Uh, you probably can't see anything. Let's go around. Wait a sec, where the fuck am I? Where you going? Yeah, I've got to go that way. And the reason... You might be asking, why do I need to charge my EUC? Well, like I said, it's... It doesn't have that much range for me, because I'm used to the Sherman. But the other reason, I need to charge my camera. And to do that... Actually, I could just plug it straight into the EUC. So I don't need a PowerPoint. But I just want to charge my EUC while I'm doing that. So I want to sit down, plug my EUC in, and plug my camera into the EUC. So I'm charging my camera. But yeah, like, I'm, like, I'm, like I just said, if I wanted, I could just stop anywhere and charge my camera or any device. Because the Kingston has power. See, it's got USB on the front. See that? Two ports. Awesome, isn't it? So you can just stop, charge your phone or whatever. Awesome. All right. All right, we're wrapping up, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. So we're just in the city again as we close out this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. It's going to be a longer video, like I promised. Peace out, guys. I'll see you in the next one.